getting back to it my my original point was dude just ride your ride and like if you hate our bikes like go ahead but we don't care because you're never gonna ride my bike i promise you i won't let you All right. What's up guys? Day two of our journey. And uh, we just left the, what, what hotel was that? Like Four Points? Yeah, it was like Four Points uh, something and we're in uh, Asheville, North Carolina. We're headed to uh, the beginning of the Tale of the Dragon and we didn't get to do much recording yesterday because we were worried about just getting poured on the entire time. And uh, we did about like, what, 600 miles yesterday, something like that. We visited five Harleys. That was pretty sweet. Um, rode through the mountains at night and that was super dope. Yeah, I got a little sketchy there at the end because my, uh, when we were coming into Asheville, my uh, headlight was canted like way too high and I couldn't see and I was just trying to keep up with Lego and we lost comms and uh, I was just basically using his headlight because mine was just pointed up. I couldn't in front of me. It was kind of sketchy, but uh, it was pretty fun. Now we're hitting it. We got about 92 miles to our first stop, which is uh what was that place called? What is the beginning of the tail? Yeah, so we're gonna hang out there for a little bit, then hit the tail of the dragon on the way to Tennessee. And then uh, we're gonna hang out in Tennessee for a couple days, and on the way back, we're gonna go the Shahala Skyway up through Blue Ridge Parkway, that's the plan. And then hit some more dealerships uh, on the way back. You wanna tell them about like the first, the first road trip you took? I, I went uh, up to uh, Canada in 2013. Me and my buddy rode our bikes from San Diego. And uh, I would say so far, I mean, I know we're only one day into this trip, but uh, it's definitely different because we're stopping more, um, because we're trying to knock out some of this Carolina challenge. And uh, the rain, you know, out on the West Coast. I, I, besides when we got in Oregon, it didn't really rain. Um, so yeah, we've, uh, like yesterday we did half the trip in our rain suits. Yeah, we just, we just kept, we just ended up keeping them on and, and it actually, uh, it would sprinkle on us and it's like just enough to get your pant, pant legs wet from the road. So I was glad we ended up just keeping it on. Yeah. So, uh, back in that trip, we went up to, uh, we, we left San Diego, like I said, actually had some problems getting out of the trucks and that one I, we got a block from my house and uh stopped and got gas i couldn't get my bike restarted and my battery self so uh it was actually good we were right by my house but anyways went up to san francisco uh stayed with a buddy he actually lived in mountain view right outside san francisco and then we went up yeah uh, camped in uh, camped in Oregon on the beach, which was pretty cool. One of the little beach towns. Uh, oh, by the way, from San Francisco, we got on like the 101 or the one, whatever that that highway is. I don't even remember now. And uh, got on the coast, and then went up through Oregon, camped, got to like Port Angeles, Washington, camped, and then. Uh, he was, my buddy was actually from Seattle. So we stopped in Seattle, stayed there for like two or three days. Oh yeah, so uh, right when I first started working with Lego, it was funny. Uh, okay, you gotta, you gotta remember, I was like, I was like 18 years old, just, just out of high school. He was like 18, like just checked into our unit and uh, me and my buddy, you know, we had been planning this trip since when we were in Afghanistan. So we were like super excited anyways. He's, I remember he said he was from Aberdeen or the Aberdeen area. So we got an Aberdeen and we're like, man, we're hungry. And we're like, hey, call that new guy. So 
Lego was actually out on the flight line turning wrenches on the helicopters at the time. Re really, I was just like handing tools to whoever was the inspector out there. You know, we were in Washington and in, in uh, Aberdeen, and then there's a car right here. Yeah, I see it. And then, and then, uh, so I called, he wasn't in the shop, and I was like, hey, have someone go grab him. So they go grab him, he runs inside. And if, if any of you guys aren't like familiar with like the a flight line or like aviation, like if you work on a flight line, like it's probably like the size of like a football field at the least. Uh, Ours in California where we worked was like the size of probably like two or three football fields. Anyways, so he comes running in, he gets on the phone, and I was like, hey, you know, it's Rod. We're in your, we're in your hood. You know, where, uh, where's a good spot to eat? And he was like, uh, I don't really know. <laughs> and, and I was so hangry and like, mad at him that I like cussed him out over the phone and hung up on him. <laughs> now when I told him I was from Aberdeen like it's kind of like when people say they're from Seattle but like really they're from the surrounding area and they're not actually from Seattle. Yeah so we so then we just ate went to Port Angeles camped got on a ferry crossed the Puget Sound into Seattle stayed there for like three days Went to Vancouver for two days, which was pretty cool, and then uh, came down, went, uh, got to like Oregon, camped. Next day, woke up, went through Weed, California, and then like cut across to uh, Lake Tahoe, camped on Lake Tahoe, and then came straight back to San Diego. It was a pretty dope ride. I feel like everybody, every man needs to just take a trip with one of you know a couple of his buddies and just uh just get out there for like a week you know like we're doing and just live on the road even if you're staying at hotels whatever dude just get out there you know what i mean but we're staying at hotels because we're not like super hardcore we might we might uh end up camping though up in blue ridge yeah we brought we brought the camping stuff we brought those the sleeping bags and tent stuff so we're prepared to camp if we need to, but... Yeah, all that gear's in our follow truck. <laughs> yeah, right. We've been getting a lot of, uh, a lot more subscribers and viewers. Shout out to our uh, subs and viewers. Thank you for the support. Um, but with that has actually come like a lot of people that like just like to troll. Uh, like me and Lego woke up to a, a message this morning that said, uh, we're pussies because we have fairings and I was like well what about guys on baggers you know how do you feel about windshields and this guy was like if you want a windshield get in a car and bat uh, and then he said like if you need bags get in a car and you can use your trunk and I was just like huh you must ride your bike around the block you know like where do you put all your stuff yeah, one thing that I thought was super funny too that people have said, like, just because the style of our bikes and, like, uh, I mean, they must not get on, like, Instagram or just be, like, be, like, familiar with, like, the SoCal Harley scene right now is, like, they've been, like, oh, you sons of anarchy wannabes. And I'm, like, I'm, like, bro, first of all, the show wasn't even that bad, all right? <laughs> like, it was over the top, sure. But, you know, yeah, like, both of us are from the West Coast anyways, you know, and, like, you don't see a lot of bikes out there like this, but it's just the style we like, dude. And, like, I'm never going to go and hate on somebody's bike because they got short shots and some ape hangers that are, like, way too tall. Like, I don't care, dude. If that's what you like, go ahead. Because out here in Eastern Carolina, that's what's popular, you know, and big wheel baggers, too. We were just talking to... Uh, dude at the Harley dealership actually multiple Harley dealerships and they're like yeah man those uh, like T-bars and stuff you see a few bikes out here but that's not the style out here and so uh, we actually pulled up on the where did we meet that guy with the FXR yeah Blackjack and uh, he, he seen us he seen us pull up 
and I feel like he got like a little excited because he's like, oh wow, like these guys are riding dinos with T-bars and stuff. And he showed us his bike. And uh, yeah, like, you know, and and getting back to it, my, my original point was, dude, just ride your ride. And like, if you hate our bikes, like go ahead. But we don't care because you're never gonna ride my bike. I promise you, I won't let you. Yeah, and then the guy said, uh, he went on to say that when I, when I told him, you know, what do you like, roll your cigarettes up up in your sleeve and ride your bike around the block, around, you know, the block, he said that uh, he's he's got more miles than years old I am or something, and I'm just a millennial that needs a safe space. Which I thought was kind of funny, like, dude, I've been to Iraq and Afghanistan and been shot at, dude, like, come on. Like, dude, I don't got anything to prove to anybody, like, I'm just trying to ride my bike and help people out, like, that's all I'm trying to do, man. Like, you know, we appreciate the comments or guys that, you know, we get it, like, some of our maintenance practices, like, we try to go by, we try to go by the Harley Davidson, uh, manual as much as possible, but... You know, sometimes you gotta deviate, we get it. Or sometimes, you know, we deviate from it. And you know, people will be like, oh, that's that's not how you do it. But, and, and I actually don't mind those comments because, you know, I like it when people put like other ways to do it. You know, there's a hundred, there's the, like that saying, there's a hundred ways to skin a cat, you know? So like, I get it. We're just here to try to help the community, and I, I'm I'm sure those guys in those comments are trying to too. So, yeah, you know, for like for for every hate comment we get, we probably get like five five to ten. Like, hey man, you helped me, you helped me out. You know, you saved you saved me some money. I I didn't go to UTI and you know get certified in Harley mechanics. I'm just a guy that that has a little bit of mechanical background who likes to save money and work on his own bike. There's plenty of stuff I don't know what to do or for, I know I'm like way out of my realm. By the way, look at that, that's beautiful right there. Yeah, but enough about that. We've already given them enough air time. I'm just gonna pull up like this and then back in a little bit, like right here. Oh yeah, dude, like this. Boop. Here it is. There's Lego. I did it. I did it. <laughs> How long you been waiting? <laughs>